Well, the winds of change are blowing in southern Manitoba. And while we've seen uh, massive wind turbines pop up in places like St. Leon, new technology was unveiled today in Rosenort. And as CTV's Joe Olson reports, the wind is being harnessed to power individual buildings. The prairie skyline is changing in Rosenort with the addition of the newest form of wind power technology, roof-mounted vertical axis turbines. A lot of people have said, uh, that's a great idea, uh, let's see how it works. Late last month, crews began installing three vertical turbines on the roof of this garage in the RM of Morris. Virtually silent, the units deliver 3.6 kilowatts of energy. Not enough for the entire building, but linked to the main supply, it powers the geothermal heating. We can actually, if the hydro goes out, we can heat this thing in winter, you know, as long as there's wind. The municipality spent $25,000 on the units, with another $25,000 coming from the province. Right now, Manitoba Hydro is still cheaper, but the company says the move could pay off as energy costs rise down the road. A slight premium right now, which will turn into a significant savings over time. It's why Global Wind Group is in talks with northern remote communities. Some rely on diesel for power, expensive to buy and truck in. Remote communities pay almost 30 times what Winnipeggers pay for their electricity. So these units pay for themselves in five years. Louise Durand owns an RV park in Ile de Chaine. She wonders if the turbines could help reduce her massive hydro bills. In the summer when it's 28, 29, the air conditioners are going galore. So it's, uh, you got to look at every little, uh, little corner you can cut. The provincial government offers homeowner incentives for installation of geothermal heating, but so far there isn't a similar program for wind power. Joe Olofsson, CTV News, Rosenort. Company officials say the three turbines in Joe's story in Rosenort would generate enough energy to power a typical 1,000 square foot bungalow in Winnipeg.